What we've got right here is the all new Sigma 7200 f 2.8 and what we're going to be doing with this beastly lens today is taking it up north to the beautiful city of Edinburgh where I'm going to pair it with my Sony a 4 and we're going to do some street photography with it to truly see what this lens is capable of. Now all the photography you're going to see throughout today's video has been edited in my preset packs so if you'd like to check these out for yourself I'll link for them will be in the description below along with all the equipment that I'm going to be using throughout today's video. But all that said let's get out onto the street of Edinburgh and start creating with this lens. Let's get a photograph of the bagpiper right here. Oh, this is going to be a good shot. Oh, especially with the lights in the background. Oh, that's brilliant. Shooting that at 200 mil as well, getting a really cool shot right there. So for this next shot, we're definitely going to be able to utilize the 70 to 200 and focus on this landscape shot right here. I'm going to shoot it at about 100 mil. I've got it at I've got it set at f8. 1 for a second ISO 800 and we're able to get that shot right there which does look pretty good let's go a photo of this person who's posing oh wow look at the background blur with that f28 200 you get the combination of an f28 aperture and the 200 mil compression so directly behind me we've got this brilliant little shop here which does look very aesthetically pleasing and i've been able to get that nice shot racked off actually i might go lower down for it oh get the subject walking through oh that looked good oh getting a subject walking through looked a lot better actually so i'm going to take another couple of photographs of this storefront here but i've taken a little step back so i can get a landscape shot just like that which does look rather lovely and we've got a bit of foreground in there with the trees there or the bush so now i want to try and wait for one or two subjects on their own to walk through it and i think that'll look rather interesting so there's a couple right there oh this gentleman here look at his beard oh focus focus that's a bit weird the sigma whoa my focus just went that was a bit weird the sigma just completely dropped focus and didn't regain it for a minute Okay, got focus back. I actually just got a really cool photograph of that subject just walking through. But that was very bizarre. I don't know if it came across on the GoPro, but focus just didn't work. It just collapsed almost. Ooh. So I figured out the auto-focusing problem. It wasn't a problem with the lens. I had this mode dial here set to this setting on like three meter. It should have been on full, and that's why the autofocus wasn't working correctly. So there's no problem with the lens, it's just be, me being a pleb not setting up the camera correctly. But with it all sorted, we can now get a photo of this gentleman right here, which looks pretty cool, with the background, f 2 looking good. Oh, reminds me of Michael Caine a little bit. Michael Caine. You're only supposed to blow the bloody dolls off. Get a photograph of this one right here, yes. Brilliant. <laughs> That's a good shot. Yeah, a photograph of this gentleman right here. His phone up in the air. Oh, that's cool. This is just a great place just to float, float around getting photos of people taking photos and also then getting people posing for photographs. I jump in and get a couple of photos of these two people right here. That actually looks real nice against the backdrop. Put a vintage vibe on that and be sorted. Oh, that's good. That is very good right there. Also got them in portrait. Nice. A photo of this lady right here. Oh, look at that background right there. F28, 200 mil, compression to the max. You gotta love it. Get a photo of this couple right here taking a selfie. Oh, that's perfect. That is a perfect shot right there. Nailed that. Photograph of this one right here. Who is taking a selfie. Oh, that looks really good. Look how sharp this Sigma lens is. All right, that is really sharp. That's razor sharp. That is goodness. Right, this lens. Whew. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to focus on the subjects sticking their head through the, um, I don't even know what you call them things. Um, you know, the one where you just put your head through and you pretend to be a character. I actually don't know the official name for them, but that thing. <laughs> nice one, lads. You, you want that sending? <laughs> you want that sending? Actually, yeah, that'll be good. Can I see? Yeah. Oh, yes, please, yes, please. Yes. <laughs> yeah, sure oh, thing, mate. Lads, uh, have a nice day. Thank and you, I'll send you. that photo nice off. You, Take you. care, guys. Bye bye. Come on, come on, get that white cow out the way. It's out the way. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. 
I got it. Woo! Right, I'm gonna cross the street because I've just seen the taxi driver on my left. Um, reading the newspaper. So, with the polarizer on the front. Oh, that's a good frame right there. Oh, so much detail. It's like where the taxi is positioned. So, I'm actually just gonna kind of fill the frame a little bit. Keep to a center focusing point, keeping the focus on the taxi driver, but then get the taxi as well. That's a nice portrait shot. So these are the kind of shots you can focus on with a lens like this because they won't even know because you could be at such a distance to your subject and just rack off shots like that and then you also get your subject posing which looks awesome yeah. jump in here and take a photograph of this gentleman with the really cool outfit on I actually just focus on his upper half Oh, look at this shot here. Yes, that green umbrella. Ooh, ooh, yes. And right behind it is a bags pipe man. Wow, look at his outfit. Amazing shot right there. Okay, Edinburgh has just got a lot more cinematic because it has started to rain, hence why the lens hood is on. Jump in here and get a photograph of the gentleman with the umbrella. Zoom all the way in to around nearly 200. Actually, can I get 200? Yeah, I can get 200 easily. Easy mode, there you go. Jump in here and get a photograph of this taxi at about 135, I think we're at. I don't know, just gonna get a nice shot like that. Ooh, that looks good. In behind that taxi now, I'm gonna focus it on the brake light. Ooh, there you go, look at that. And actually, I'm not gonna get run over, so I'm gonna stay in the road and then just stay right behind it Oh, there is a bit of reflections going on the ground. Can I get them in? Absolutely. So now shoot it low down. Nice. I bet you wish there was an escalator. <laughs> have a good time, guys. Okay, so here we have three phone boxes in a row. And I reckon we can get a real cool shot just like that of them all. A photograph right here, the uh, young lad and the bagpipes. Oh, that's a real nice photograph. I like the framing on that. Definitely be able to do something good with that. I'm going to get a photograph of the gentleman in the window here. Oh, that's a good one as well. Two good shots right there, nice. So we're now down low and we've got this real nice shot right here of the street with the rain and all that is giving some really moody tones. We're at F28, I'm going to bring that up to F4 and drop the shutter speed quite a bit. I'm at 70 mil as well, keeping the ISO at 800, that's a good place to have it at. And then go maybe a tad up further down to really bring that shot to life. Ooh. Oh, this gentleman right here looks really cool. Jump in here and get a photo of this gentleman as he walks through the frame. Ooh, very well done. Look at the lights in the background. This might be a good spot to wait for a couple of moments. This one right here. Tracking, tracking, and there we go. That's a really good one right there. Nice, we've got some nice golden warm tones to the images as well, which is nice. Ooh, that one's a good one. That one right there, that'll be our final one from this spot. We've got a bit of foreground in there as well with the uh, greenery. These are words that are not going to sound right with a lens like this, but I'm going to try and be incognito for a second and just chill here and then wait for subjects to walk through my frame just like that. Okay, um, incognito mode somehow worked with a 70 to 200. I couldn't be more conspicuous. I mean, thank God I'm not wearing like a red coat or something like that. That would really shout, hey, look at me. I'm taking your photograph. Now smile. It's a big bench you've got there. I know, I'm hunting Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't I say I was hunting Loch Ness? Like Nessie, that would have made sense. Cute doggo. Oh, very cute doggo. Very cute doggo, got a brilliant photo. Oh, I like this shot here. This is so simplistic, but that is exactly why I like it. Just look at the buildings around here. That city is stunning. Got a good vibe going on here. Look at this old pub. 
Oh, that is looking stellar right there. We have got no one in the frame. In portrait, absolutely nailed the composition. The exposure is spot on. Oof. Okay, that shot came out really nicely. All right, give me a minute to catch breath back. We've just walked up this really steep hill. We've got a few photo spots around here, including this one actually, which looks kind of good. So I'm going to go to about 135 mil, shooting at f11 for this and 160 for a second ISO 500. Getting that frame right there of just all the rooftops. All right, so for our next shot, this is where the 70 to 200 is gonna come in absolute clutch. So we're gonna lean the camera up against the fence here. I'm gonna shoot this at 150 per second, F11, ISO 500, adjust the polarizer on the front accordingly. And what we're gonna do is put the focus point to around the middle of the frame. Then what we could do, with it nice and stable, 200 mil take this absolutely stunning shot right here and that is looking exquisite it's now just focus on other people who are taking photos of the same things and this way i can really test out like 200 mil a little bit more even though we're coming towards the end of today's pov there we go there's a good one here we go guy on the phone right there Oh, focused on the phone. Well done, autofocus. Absolutely nailed that right there. Oh, that's very moody. That, that's pretty cool. I mean, look at that. If you put that in like a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, it will look like a shot from a film. I'm not even joking. I'm going to go to a centre focus point here. Focus it on the tower, but put the two people to the left and right of frame. To get that right there. Framing up the tower right in the middle. Perfect. All right, so right here we have a really cool photograph of all the people on the swing chair right there. And then I might actually frame it up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the spot area to the right of frame. To, oh, and then we've got a seagull flying through it and create some real negative space. Let's try it again without getting a seagull in it. There you go. That creates a bit of an interesting composite. Big red bus. That was brilliant. Absolutely nailed that. Big red bus, random bus in Scotland. All right, here we go, here we go. Yes, there we go. That's the kind of shot I wanted right there. And their shoes are very matching. Oh, the woman in the suitcase there, that looks good as well. Here we go. This will be a good shot of a taxi down here. Oh, I think I nailed it. I think I absolutely nailed that one. Oh, I did indeed. Nice. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shoot a burst. And I'm going to hopefully have the subject nice and static. But then the bus flying by. Just like so. Oh, that was really good. I did just get absolutely demolished by a bus and got hugely splashed. But uh, it was worth it. This shot, what we're going to do is we're going to go nice, low it down to the ground. And then we're going to put the focusing point further down the frame. Oh no, we can't, never mind. Ah, uh, there we go. And I think we nailed that shot right there, actually. I was trying to get the uh, tower in the background, the church thing, but I know I, I did get it. Oh, I think I just got a really cool photograph of that subject right there, putting her head, a hand on her head. And oh, that's really good right there. Oh, that guy right there, that guy. Oh, that one looked good. Yeah, I nailed that one. That one looks very good. Nice. Maybe we can use this as a leading line. That is much better of a shot. That is actually a really good shot right there move up a little bit and then what i'm going to do is focus on the tram tracks right there oh that was a cool shot and then just focus on that right there see if we can get people walking through the frame maybe i don't oh well maybe i don't need a um a tripod we move that out of the way well well that's gone with now. I might have a trial composition set up. This might not work, 
but I have got this set at 70 mil, F10, four seconds, which I'm actually probably gonna try and bring up to maybe six seconds. ISO 50, aperture at F10. The focus point is the Ferris wheel right there. And now what I need to do is wait for the traffic to start moving and the Ferris wheel preferably as well. Come on. Oh my God, did that actually work? Holy crap, I think that actually worked. Uh, I'm just gonna get a really simple shot here. A real cool composite, just focusing on the glass right here and getting all the lights and everything going on in the background completely blurred. Maybe a shot here of a tram, um, back here a little bit, go a little bit further down. Maybe one more. Now I think we nailed the one I wanted. Can we get a photo of the person the bus right there? Oh, I think we did. Gonna punch in at 200 mil here. Maybe get some people crossing the road. But then can we get the bus driver? I don't know if we can get the bus driver. It is quite dark and we are at ISO 5000 right now. Wow, face focus is picking up though, nevertheless. Oh, I like this. This is a really cool shot. Just keeping that nice and centered. And what we could do with that is maybe add that to a part of a collage. Yeah, that's a good frame. Oh, I like this one. This bus driver is lit up by blue. Okay, look at that, nice. Maybe a landscape one here. Right, I'm gonna go to a center focus point here and focus on this gentleman right there. Also get him in landscape. Oh, both portrait and landscape nailed right there. Oh, it was perfectly lit up by the bus with the uh, the lights above. It kind of just was like meant to be. I'm gonna get a photo here of this gentleman in the window. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like that we've got the steam on the windows as well. That looks really cool. Get it in portrait as well as uh, landscape. Get both versions right there. Get a photo of this lady looking at her phone right against the, uh, the windows there, which looks pretty nice. Can we get a shot down here of the ghost bus? Bringing down the shutter speed quite a bit. Oh, how about that? Please say I know that. We get an old street, but look at this composition here at night. We're shooting at four seconds, F10, ISO 80. I've got a two second timer. And then what I'm gonna do with my hand underneath the camera just to support it, because we've also got the foot of the 70 to 100 also helping. I'm just gonna take this photo right here. And hopefully with all that together, Ooh, despite the jankiness of this setup, we have just got that clean shot right there. So there we go, a couple of days in Edinburgh with this lens, and you know what? I'm impressed. The image quality from this thing is like a prime lens. That's the best way I could describe it. It is tack sharp. Now, there are a couple of elements that I don't like with this lens, but I'll leave those thoughts for when I do my review with this lens. So if you don't want to miss that video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. But I think the last thing we should do in today's POV is actually have a look for the hashtag Curtis Padley and see what you guys have been creating. Kicking things off today, we have this brilliant long exposure image by Dean H Photography in Nottingham. There is just so much going on in that frame. I absolutely love it. It looks chaotic in the best way possible. We've then got these brilliant shots here by with micro of this castle. That's, I can't remember, there, uh, there it says it there what castle it is. I've always wanted to visit that castle. It looks amazing. And this is beautifully captured. Next up, we have this perfectly framed shot here by Paula Barrows, who has also put in the caption, color or black and white. I'm gonna have to go color actually for that one. I like this shot here of the bike, just focusing on the bell right there with all the background blur by color vision of Marcus. Really well captured right there. I love the composition and the lighting of this shot by Anthony of this person right center in the frame in that pocket of light. That is a perfect moment, perfectly captured right there. 
Uh, and our final shot today is going to be courtesy of ljc.jpg of this beautiful mountain. I like the sunlight and the contrast between the shadows and also the foreground you got incorporated in that shot as well. And that right there is where I'm going to be leaving today's POV with the marvellous Sigma 7200 F2A. Now, if you fancy seeing a photo shoot I did with this lens on top of the moors with a beautiful yellow Lamborghini, then check out this top video right here. Or maybe if you fancy seeing another Sony a7 IV POV, then check out this bottom video right here. But with all that said and done, until next time, create, explore, and inspire.